Hello and welcome to another exciting edition of poetry reading by yours truly, Clarence Plank, the shoebox poet. And I'm reading from my book, and the universe said, "Hold my beer." Try and get some uh, light up in here or something. I don't know. But anyway, I hope y'all are doing well. I I apologize for being late. I went to a birthday party for a friend of mine, Jeff Whaley. He uh, known him for over for a very long time, and uh, it was really nice to, to hang out with him and a bunch of a bunch of friends. Um, enjoy myself immensely. Been dealing with the uh, uh, sciatica. It's been uh, been giving me pain, a lot of pain. So it's been uh, really uncomfortable. I really need to move around a lot more. I've been trying to do that, but it's just been like, yeah. Um, so it's been sore a lot and haven't been Ubering. So, yeah, so it's been really fun. Okay, so we're going to pick up with Into the Stream. Thoughts are like a river and it flows in our head. Sometimes debris drifts into the stream, slowing it down while making the river rise. As time goes on, that river becomes restricted. As more things pile up and that flows back up. Those chemicals from the thoughts and how we process them become interpreted, overwhelming the system. Negative thoughts, false beliefs, or the inability to understand these thoughts. But those are just words, right? Have you thought about the meaning of words, the deeper meaning of them as we communicate our emotions? And depending on the person, we measure our words to help people understand. That is why it's called spelling. The words we say manifest things and we manifest cursed objects to or people. We say we don't like them with a the negative energy we speak into the world as they express our emotions. Sometimes we do it without knowing, other times we do it out of anger. So basically this right here is a uh, poem that is reflected off the one previous to it that I ran uh, about how words are actually um, you know, the spelling of words is actually a spell because you're talking to people. So you either wish somebody well or you wish them ill will. So it's just like, you know, in, in how they presented things to them. Ah, this one's called Six Flags Over Remorse. Welcome to my page. As you scroll through my posts, pouring over recent memories of times shared of happiness, mixed with regret. I don't know why you are here. Hopefully to buy some books, partake in some poetry, and maybe a laugh or two. Because these are the pieces of my soul. So what is your reasoning to be here? I got nothing but time, save for the scammers, stalkers, jealous folk, and people without morals, drinkers, partiers, past friends who become strangers who like my post. However, for some reason, we've been placed on mute. Things change, people change, mindsets and laughs, it all becomes memories because there's really nothing else to left as we become unsocial friends. I'm not responsible for the image. Someone who is crass shows his ass, who is just an authentically himself. This is me. As I were to express myself in being the person who, for uh, so long, was too timid to speak his mind. A people-pleasing person who did things, gave away pieces of himself to people who didn't know the value of me. Because they only know the value of the use of a tool. Again, why are you here? Let's touch on the jealous person thing as I write these words, or you know your partner is jealous. So I become your secret form of bliss. I honestly believe you will find yourself reaching uh, when you try to embrace me. As someone for romance or fling, I'm not going to pursue someone who has been caught. If you're dating, you're dating. If you're engaged, you're engaged. If you're married, you're married. The ring means forever. An unbroken circle. Circle. That's between you two, not us three. So, go work out your problems. Speak to your man. Talk to your girl. To your gal. 
define your relationship with tough conversations and grow up. Stop being children and playing high school. You're too damn old for that shit. And I'm too old to deal with your drama because you can't find the courage to speak your mind. Okay. Or seek help to get away from your abuser. No relationship is worth sacrificing your sanity nor your body for. In this, if you know he or she is a bad person, what makes you believe they're going to change? Once you put a ring on their finger, the traveling carnival becomes a six flag over remorse. But these, wall fall, these words fall on deaf ears. You believe you can change them. You're not Bob the Builder. You're not Bob Villa. This isn't the old fixer-upper. So with these words I share about my content. Snooze me. You might change your mind about me later. Hate my page. Unfollow me. Unfriend me. Block me. I really don't care what you do. Now the reason why I did this poem is because um, there was a couple times uh, some people that I've known for years that don't really say anything. They just sit here and they just look at my page and look at this stuff and don't say anything or they do say anything or they just comment. And it's just like, and we were really close friends, so I just don't really understand why people do the things that they do. I mean, yeah, I'm human. I'm not a perfect person. I understand I piss people off every day. I don't really give a shit. I don't. I really don't. You know, but I love people. I love the people that I know that I care about. And if you don't think I don't care about you, you need to ask. Because I do care. This next one's called Such Intensity. Guilty pleasure making moaning noises from an imaginary touch of mind welcomes with such intensity. Of a daydream clutch, so rub the bean, massage the button, let loose the monster, pin up inside you. And that's pretty much stuff I'm playing a story about, you know, playing with yourself. So... I'm going to go for one more poem here because my mic is starting to kill me already. I hate this. I hate this, I hate this, I hate this. This next one called, Is a Joke. Being woke is a joke. For people with small minds, if your eyes were wide, you would understand things and have the desire to help your fellow man and woman rather than hindering them by adding your voice to hate. We're supposed to bring peace, not wage war to people on slaughter innocence, one by one with bullets being caught in between. A power struggle of rich men, yes, there's no justice, but vengeance brings anger. It's citing more damage as we mix blood with a chemical bomb. If, we're, if you were woken and not feeling broken by the unforeseen yoke, but you would try to throw off those chains that bond you to blame and fingers you point. It takes you to change the environment you dwell instead of holding each other back in disbelief. Words of power, but you choose to slander. You choose to slander your brothers and sisters. Disrespect your elders, shame single parents instead of supporting their crowns. When are you going to learn Breaking down others will only advance you as far as the chains will let you walk. Now, basically, I wrote this poem about how much some people want to bring other people down because they don't want anybody to get ahead of them. So that's what I was basically talking about there. Um, and trying to limit people when you should be supporting them and helping them. So, have a good day. Take it easy, and I will see you later and sooner. Apologize for tonight, but I have fun.